Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn and you have reached this channel which is dedicated to the Simple Abundance Principles from Sarah Bon Bronick's book, Simple Abundance. We are specifically going through her 2019 updated edition of the book and the principles are joy, harmony, beauty, order, simplicity, and gratitude. And it's April 2020. We are in the section of the book where we are talking about awakening the senses and she's taking us on an entry through the various senses. Yesterday we talked about the sense of smell and today it's the sense of taste. So when I made my list, I did go and in my journal, I did come up with a sheet where I made it into boxes for the various senses. And I don't have that many on the tastes. I was really surprised because when I think about me and I think about food, I guess it's been like a love-hate relationship with the food because I did share with you guys my struggles with my body and my digestive issues and with my weight as well. So I had, I didn't have that many on the tastes. So I will be thinking about that because I think there's more than I actually, maybe I was having trouble admitting some of them, I don't know. Because there's things I know that that really inflame my condition. So I know I shouldn't eat them even though I want them. So that might have been why I was struggling a little bit. I had tons of smells though. So I, I think like that one we had yesterday, I think that one might be my most favorite scent. I have some sights, I have a bunch of touches and hearing and I didn't make an Intuit one yet, but I can always do that one as well. So in today's entry, we also have been talking this spring about all the organizational things in the house, like going through the closet and purging it and organizing it and doing things like that. And in this entry, she is telling us to go through our spice rack or spice cabinet, however you have it. And as I was reading it, it was making me think back when I was, let's see, I must have been 27 when I met my ex-husband. At that time, all I had in my house was salt and pepper. <laughs> I didn't, you know what, I might have had cinnamon because occasionally I would make French toast. But I was not a spice person. I wasn't really much of a cook. I do remember that he was a big cook and when he first tried to make a meal at my house, he was just like, how can you not have spices? And I just, I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not a spice person. Cause I don't know that we really grew up with that much as far as spices go. My mom died early, like I said, and she probably used more spices. My dad was like cook out of the box kind of guy. Like he was just trying to pick up the pieces to take care of us kids after she died. Uh, but now I have to tell you, I have like every spice in the book. So I like this one and I don't really have them organized right now. Um, and I, I think she mentioned something about how sometimes you have things in there that you don't remember, like some packets of seasonings and stuff like that, maybe from a holiday or something that you bought. So this is another project, another order project, like for that order. Um, principle, couldn't think of the word. <laughs> and so going through the spices, maybe you might realize you have something and it might inspire you to make a meal around it. You know, I love spices now. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. And actually I, I have more now since I've been divorced. So it wasn't even like my husband, my ex-husband was the one that really got me into them. I of course expanded them when we were married and stuff, but like it was really more in the last 10 years or so that I've just been doing stuff on my own. And the more vegan my lifestyle has become, I, I like to spice things up, you know, and season vegetables and stuff like that. So. This one, uh, I like having these sort of assignments because it, even if it's just one thing that you do 
once a year. It's not like you have to do it all the time. And you don't have to have labels and everything on... I mean, maybe you'd be into that. Maybe you'd want to go so far as to like make custom labels and have them in alphabetical order or something like that. I don't go that far, but I think it's good to go in and see if you have an in, you know, to do an inventory. And I just want to see if there's anything I want to read. Today's entry is mostly like a personal story that she tells, so you can check that out. At the end, she just says, Bon Appetit! To the spice rack we go. Large garbage bag in hand, once more with fervor. You know, spices have a long shelf life, so if you have to throw some away, then you've probably had them for a long time. Hopefully you haven't let it go that far. But maybe you'll also notice that there's something missing. You might want to look online and see if there's like, I think I did that once, essential spices that that are recommended for cooking that might be in a lot of recipes and so do a little inventory and see how your section looks or maybe you're going more towards like an organic lifestyle now and you want to upgrade some of them to a new brand it's fun i like looking at all the spices let me know my favorite spice, let me know what your favorite spice is. My favorite spice is cumin. <laughs> I'm not even like a huge Mexican food fan. I, I will eat it, but it, cumin tastes sort of like the taste that you would have in like tacos, um, but I love it. I, I mix, a lot of times my thing is like garlic, cumin, ginger, which is sort of like a weird sort of mix, but not unlike the essential oils that we talked about yesterday when you're mixing them up. I like to, to mix. I like cilantro too, so um, sometimes those are like my four go-to ones. And oh, black pepper too. I use salt and pepper mostly in most things, but I really like the black pepper. Let me know what you like and give some thought to these senses and how you can be more conscious of them daily. We'll be back again tomorrow. It looks like we're going to be talking about hearing the sound sense tomorrow. And I had, that was another list that I had fun doing. So I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for being here. I have to tell you, if it weren't for you today, I would not have put on anything presentable and put my face together and everything. So I'm really glad to have the videos and really appreciate you guys being here and for the feedback and just feeling like a sense of connection with you all. Hope you're enjoying the book and love to you all.